Founded by Romanian physicist Harry Kawanda in 1910, the Kawanda effect is the tendency of a fluid to be attracted to a nearby surface. This concept has been an important application in areas such as aerodynamics and hydropower. But what does it mean exactly? Well, the Kawanda effect can be demonstrated in various ways. Take for example, if you were attempting to blow out a match but the cup was in between, one would imagine the cup to prevent you from doing so. To your surprise, the cup actually had little effect as the flame was put out anyway, but how is this possible? As mentioned before, the air, behaving as a fluid, follows along the curved surface of the cup and essentially goes around it. A more popular example uses a hairdryer and a ping pong ball. If the ping pong ball is placed into the airstream of a hairdryer, what do you think would happen? Naturally, one would think the ball would shoot off, but it doesn't. It actually levitates. But let's see what happens when we change the angle of the hairdryer. The effect continues and the ball stays trapped. But why is this? When the ping pong ball is in the airstream, the flow from the hairdryer pushes the ball up while the gravity pulls it down. Because the ball is also in the way of the flow, the air continues to flow past the ball due to inertia, increasing its velocity. As it is passing by, the faster moving air pulls the slower air because of viscosity, also known as fluid friction. This creates an area of lower pressure which is formed between the ball and the stream, which pulls the airflow back towards the ball and the ball towards it. As this effect is caused around the entire ping pong ball, the forces equalize and the ball essentially levitates inside. But not all fluids interacting with curved surfaces are a result of the Kawanda effect. Take for example a spoon. When the water from the faucet hits the curved surface of the spoon, one would often mistaken the sticking effect as the Kawanda effect. But the sticking is caused mostly by surface tension from the water. Sorry Henry. So how is the Kawanda effect used today? Various aircraft uses this concept to utilize the air moving over the wing to be bent down towards the ground, resulting in aerodynamic lift. In air conditioners, the Kawanda effect is exploited to increase the throw of the ceiling mounted diffuser. Because the air that leaves the diffuser sticks along to the ceiling, it thus travels further throughout the room before dropping in velocity, compared to a diffuser installed away from the ceiling. In meteorology, airstream flowing out of the mountain ranges has been studied using this theory where the effect on the agriculture and the vegetation has been documented. So thanks to Harry's contribution to science, maybe you could use the Kawanda effect in creative ways.